Jennifer Lawrence met Cook Maroney in the spring of 2018 after a mutual friend introduced them. At the time, the actress had recently gone through a breakup with film director Darren Aronofsky and had decided to take a break from chasing love. Jennifer had started dating Darren in 2016 after working with him on the movie Mother. They were always a private couple and seemed very happy, although many criticized their 21-year age difference and the fact that the director used to be Jen's boss. When Jen and Darren split in late 2017, a source told People Magazine the couple's ages did have something to do with it. There is a huge age difference and they are different people. He has responsibilities in life that she has yet to experience. Jennifer did not only take a break from love, she decided to take a break from acting as well. The star explained to Vanity Fair that she wasn't getting the quality she expected in the scripts that were sent to her. I just think everyone got sick of me. I got sick of myself, she confessed. If Jennifer was so sure she didn't want to focus on love, what drove her to cook? Well, she was so captivated when she met the art gallerist, she just couldn't resist. I definitely wasn't at a place where I was like, I'm ready to get married, Jen told the Naked with Cat Saddler podcast. I just met Cook and I wanted to marry him. In June 2018, Us Magazine confirmed that the couple was officially dating. A source told them that Maroney still played coy when talking about his girlfriend. He's clearly smitten about her, the insider added. The lovebirds didn't just make each other happy. Their romance also pushed them out of their comfort zones. Jennifer told Kat Sadler that during her professional break, she was still learning and trying new things thanks to Cook. She has even tried stuff she thought she couldn't do. During an appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, the Hunger Games star reflected that she I just have a ton of sex. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm joking. The couple's romance continued going strong, and they had already moved in together once they dated for a few months. After less than a year of being together, the pair got engaged. I know that sounds really stupid, but he's just... I, he's the greatest person I've ever, I've ever met, so mm. I feel very honored to become a, a Maroney. At the time, a source explained to People Magazine why Jen was so sure about Cook. He keeps her on her toes and doesn't treat her like a celebrity like the other boyfriends did. The insider went further and revealed that Maroney is not affected by Hollywood. The allegation that Lawrence's other boyfriends treated her like a celebrity is shocking, especially because the actress has dated other stars in the past. She had an on and off relationship with her X-Men First Class co-star Nicholas Holt for five years. But it's been, you know, it's fun every time we all get to be together. The couple broke up for good in August 2014. The split was hard on the actress, who even questioned, who am I without this man? As if that wasn't tough enough, intimate pictures of her were stolen by a hacker and posted online. Jennifer explained just how hard to process the experience was. Suddenly, everyone in the world could see pictures that were only meant for her and Nicholas. I feel like I got gangbanged by the f***ing planet, she told a Hollywood reporter. Luckily, the hackers were caught and had to serve prison time. After her breakup with Holt, Lawrence went on to have a short relationship with Coldplay's frontman, Chris Martin. However, the singer was still dealing with his divorce and the pair split because Jen felt like he was playing happy families with his ex. The pair got back together shortly after, but broke up again after a few months. A source told People Magazine that Chris didn't want the relationship to end, but needed flexibility to work and see his family. A different insider said that Jennifer was tired of the musician being so non-committal. After Chris, Jen went on to date Aronofsky, and we have an idea on how that relationship ended. The star has confessed to being friends with all her exes. Jennifer believes that it's because she's blunt which allows her to be honest at all times. She also said that her exes were good people. Maybe we'll call your ex, maybe we'll call my ex, who knows? The point is, we'll have fun. Luckily, the actress found love again and couldn't wait to marry Maroney. On the Naked podcast, Jennifer said, I want to legally bind him to me forever. You find your favorite person in the planet and you're like, you can't leave. She added that she felt very honored to be a Maroney. Lawrence and Maroney finally tied the knot in October 2019. Although they were very secretive about the ceremony, People Magazine confirmed that it took place at a mansion in Rhode Island. There were around 150 guests, including stars like Emma Stone, Bradley Cooper, and Adele. Although she hasn't revealed the details of the ceremony, Jen has talked about the process of planning the wedding. I saw a venue and I was like, cool, we got the venue, she explained. However, Lawrence confessed to having a bridezilla moment while organizing the bachelorette party. She had told everybody she didn't want one, but changed her mind at the last minute. By that time, nobody was available, so the actress started crying. She felt very pathetic, but Cook was there to comfort her and make her feel better. Before marrying, Jen wasn't sure about changing her name since she considered it to be her identity. 
However, she later realized that by having the same name as her husband and son, it would be easier to separate herself from her public persona. I was born with the name Jennifer Lawrence, but that got taken from me when I was 21, and I never got it back, she told the New York Times. The actress added that she didn't feel like she was giving up anything because that name already belongs to them. The lovebirds were happy in their marriage, so much so that in September 2021, the actress's representative confirmed that they were expecting their first child. Their son was born in February 2022. Jennifer opened up about motherhood in an interview with Vogue. The morning after I gave birth, I felt like my whole life had started over. I was just so in love, she confessed. Lawrence added that she had now fallen in love with babies. Although the star's interview with Vogue had many sweet moments, it also contained some harder confessions. Jenna revealed that she had suffered two miscarriages. The first one happened during her 20s. She had planned on getting an abortion before she lost the baby. The second miscarriage happened in 2021 while Jennifer was filming Don't Look Up and was already married to Cook. She wanted to have the baby but suffered another miscarriage. Lawrence even had to go through a procedure that removed tissue from the uterus after it happened. Jennifer and Cook have been able to overcome these challenges by supporting each other in the process. They seem to be very happy and, we assume, still adapting to parenthood. Here at Rumor Juice, we wish the family a lifetime of happiness. Be well and be kind.